why you can use it so many different ways. You use so many different hooks. You can use jig hooks. You can use uh, uh, stinger hooks. But this particular hook is what uh, Clouser likes. It's uh, Daiichi 452 uh, X point. Or Daiichi also makes a 2546. It's a stainless steel hook. And it's the same shape as this. And I uh, also like that Eagle Claw 413, which is a, a jig hook. And it's. Yeah. Why that many fish? Yeah. So what I do is I start off in the middle of the eye and the hook point with my thread. You got eyes? Yeah, I got some. I don't hear anything. No, yeah, no, no. You got to use lead eyes? Oh, lead eyes. Water cast those out? I use real eyes on mine. I got lead eyes, I got real eyes, I got... Okay, you might be able to see this better on the screen. But I get a... four or five uh, wraps. And I just set the barbell right on the top, and I put two wraps on it, and then I put two wraps on this side until I can get it to where it's pretty straight, and then I figure eight it. Okay? And after I think I got enough thread on there, then I, I don't know what you'd call this, you go half on one side, half on the other. Okay? And then figure eight it, bring the thread forward. And then I use some, uh, some of my glue. You can use regular head cement on this. Or Sally Hansen's hard as nails or something. But I put that glue in there. Was, and the reason that I put that glue, you ever have your eyes shift after you catch a couple of fish? Well, this keeps it going a little bit longer. Okay, the next thing I do is I take a clump of uh, bucktail. And I tie mine pretty sparse. And I'll pull all the short hairs out of there. By pulling the short hairs, you get more more movement of the whole unit here. Is that where that saying comes from? Caught by the short hair. Never mind. Okay, that was a that was one of those army terms, I think. Okay, then I, I like to go like two times the hook shank. Put it on there. Bitch in the house. This is a little trick I learned from Clauser. Wrap it around the, the hair, bring it down. That's better. I got all, all my uh, the butts right in, next to the eye. Then I go back, back of the eye, take two wraps, then wrap one, two, three until I get right over the hook point. Wrap that back and then come back. Y'all catch that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I'll flip it over. Take some crystal flash. I usually don't like to use it like this. I just pull it out in the bag. But I lost the bag on that one somewhere. And I'll pull out a few. And I'll take a half a dozen.
wrap it around my thread, bring that up to the top, and spread that out half and half. On each side of it. If you want to make a flash tail, like Dan Blanton, put a little bit of uh, this uh, flash of boo on there. Yeah, it's much easier to keep that in the bag, isn't it? It is. I hope everybody paid attention. That's the best okay. trick you'll ever learn about using flash material is never take it out of the bag. Just cut a corner on the top and pull it out like he did. Yeah. It was, uh, you don't end up with flash and boo in nine different directions. Okay, now that, that flash and boo extends past the bucktail and that'll, that'll give a flash tail. And I see you separated that on each side of the hook there, right? Right. Yeah. yeah well, that way it's the same on each side Yeah. looking at it. Okay. Yeah, Instead of being on one side, you want it split on both sides. Okay. Now, you saw how much I, uh, bucktail I put on the bottom. I want to put a little bit more. This is pretty crinkly stuff here. Can't get good, real straight, good bucktail. That? Why can't you get, I mean, there's not a big call for bucktail, is it? Well, the you process? see you see how straight this bucktail is? Yeah. See how crinkly this is? Yeah. Is it the processing, or is it the... It's a... Uh, is it the, what they're doing with the Availability cows? of the hair. You know, every deer is a little bit different. <laughs> and uh, they had, when I bought these, they had about... Three bucktails hanging on the on the wall. So that's what I got. Okay, you want to match this up with the white. And there's a, a tiny bit more chartreuse. I'll put that right on top. Make a nice head on this. Kind of taper it. And I just tie it off with half inches. Don't you notice the slick half inch time? Yeah, fast. Backwards. <laughs> no, but you see how he just slips it yeah, on his like finger? That. He's the only guy I've ever seen. And then, yeah. once I get that all off, uh, About a half. Split that up. And then I'll put uh, head cement. I didn't bring any uh, nail, you know, clear nail polish. I'll put that on the front. And you'll actually see that the, the uh, um, chartreuse color in there when you put that clear nail polish. If you use the flat wax nylon, it'll, it'll go through, and you'll see. See if I put some of this on there. So the white, the white bucktail, you, you wrap behind the eyes. The, the, the in this case, the chartreuse, you don't wrap behind the eyes. The uh, other Correct. color, the Correct. dark, just in front. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see. So that's that's the pretty simple. Fly comes out because that's fuller. Yes. Eyes down. Fuller. Okay. The white is the bottom. 